quick adjustment on the first two times. His hands are bigger than I thought. <laughs> so he was actually just, it was like I was trying to get a rebound from him. Like, you can't take it from him. The hands are too big. So I had to adjust his hands a little bit so that I could get the, the, the ball, obviously, in my hands. But um, those were two dunks that I knew I could do. Uh, but I was also thought there were two dunks that nobody else thought I could do. That second dunk, it's a high degree of difficulty to tap and then sure. get it in. And it's very technical. How did you try to sell it? Because you, you had to know you were going to have to sell it and make sure they knew that. For sure. Tap. So being a guy that's obviously loved dunk contests since I was a kid, I actually remembered Dwight's dunk contest when he put the sticker on the backboard. And no one really realized it until it was too late. Judges already put their score in. So uh, I wanted to make sure first and foremost I got the dunk. But I also wanted to point to it a little bit, make sure people saw the replay before they put any scores in because um, it's, I think people at the beginning thought I just jumped over a taller person. But when you add that element to it, the tap of the backboard, that's a lot of body control. I gotta be hanging in the air for quite a bit of time. I wanted to make sure that didn't go unnoticed. Um, I think the first dunk should have been a 50 also, but there were a lot of 50s thrown around tonight, so I'm glad I at least got one of them. Did you appreciate Giannis helping you sell it? You made sure to go out. That felt, feels like a whole teammate thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I mean, it, it's great by him because, like I said, I'd never done that dunk with him before. So for him to, to know, him to see it, and him to make sure that everybody else did, that, that's big. Um, but you're 100% right. It's about the teammate thing. I mean, those guys are like family to me. I was like family to me. For him to come down and be a part of it, obviously, after he just had a, a son, uh, means even more. And to see Chris and Thanasis and even the, all the Antetokounmpo's to – be on the sideline supporting me, it, it, it means the world. I'm sure you had another dunk ready to go, so does this mean we now need to see Pat again in the dunk contest? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, uh, maybe. Uh, we'll see if I get the invite back. I think it was hard enough to get the first invite, but hopefully with the showing that I put on, uh, <laughs> the invites come a little more easy. Maybe they're not sent by carrier pigeon, maybe they're sent by, you know, overnight. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And maybe. Maybe I'll release a little of the footage of the other two dunks that uh, I had in store. Pat, uh, can you confirm, like, going on that? Obviously, you had another couple of dunks that were prepared. Can you confirm that you had Brian Braun and Aaron Rodgers hiding somewhere? What's funny is uh, I've gotten to know Aaron, and I was going to try to incorporate him uh, to some degree. Obviously, you know, he, he's a busy guy, so I wanted to make sure whomever I asked wasn't busy, if you will, you know what I mean? And he just got done with the season, I thought he was going to go on vacation, so I didn't want to put that type of pressure on him to, to come to town. Um, and so I first thought of you know, Christian, because uh, I knew spring training was coming, I knew if I had to call Craig and say, hey, there's a little bit of Notre Dame pride here at stake, I might have been able to. Um, and, you know, it was just, it was something that if I could have got all three Milwaukee MVPs there, I definitely would have tried, but uh, maybe that's something that I can have in store for next year. Next year. That would be a tough one for me. Um, I actually think both of them deserve to win. I know it's kind of a cop-out answer, but with how crazy of a dunk contest it was, I thought they both did. Uh, when I look back on it, I kind of think about, I love the dunk off. I love the extra dunks. I think it's great for the show, and it was a phenomenal to be a part of. But getting four 50s, getting nothing lower than a 50, that's uh, that's tough. That's uh, a tough one to swallow if you're not gonna uh, come home with the trophy. So uh, I probably would have if I had to voted for Aaron, uh, but I would have tried to split the trophy in half and give each of them half a ball. Hey there, NBA fans! For exclusive NBA content, subscribe to Fanatics View YouTube down below.